Okay, and welcome back, guys, to Fable: The Lost Chapters. Um, I had a I had a request on my episode one on my hundredth video special um, that I should bring this series back and um, keep going through it. I'm very very sorry that it's been so long since I've posted any of this game, but I'm here. I'm recording some now. Um, it's all going to be divided into 10-15 minute episodes, so hope you'll enjoy. So where we left off last time was we just finished all the training and we are heading off down here towards Bowerstone. So because Maze, if you remember him, he saved us from the Oakvale fire, is waiting for us. And in the last episode we also did the first quest, the um we did the picnic area, the Queen Wasp. Wasp Queen, that's the one. And we got the trophy for it. So let's watch this cutscene. When it loads. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bower Stone is a peaceful town. Ah, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. So, so as the guard said, um, this is Bowerstone, and as he said, there are multiple places across um, Albion like this. But why am we getting some frame rate? Anyway, um, over here, there are multiple places. Sorry, I lost train of thought. Then there are multiple places across Albion that. Um, take your weapons away, but you're not allowed to use them in the town. And Bowerstone is one of them. Now, um, as you can see, Maze is over... I uh, don't know if you can see him, but Maze is just over there. But I want to quickly show you this, because it is moderately important. If you come up here... Not so fast, Sunshine. You're not allowed in there. Okay, I actually thought there was more to that cutscene. Um, the reason you are not allowed in there is Bower this is Bowerstone South, and up there is Bowerstone North. And according to Lady Grey, the mayor of Bowerstone, you have to be of uh, you have to have a really high renown to get in there. You do eventually have to get in there for quest reasons, but for now you are not allowed in there. So let's go talk to Maze. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the Guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. So there we go. Um, it's a pretty easy quest, nothing amazing. Check the guild for more quests. So here we are, Bowerstone. Now, we have 572 gold. Now I'm hoping, this is a weapons trader. I'm hoping we can buy a steel katana. Which he doesn't have any. Steel longsword might be a good idea. 
although he's ripping us off. If it, where you see in cost, um, if it's red like that, it means the guy's charging more than what it's worth. It's actually worth 450 coins, but the guy is selling it for 466. Um, whereas if you get stuff like this, if it's in green, he's selling it less than what the actual weapon is worth, so you're going to get a profit out of it. Now, unfortunately, I actually want a steel longsword because, you know, it's got a good amount of damage compared to everything else that's steel. And it's light. And it's better than not... It's better than having a iron katana, which I've got now. So, for the sake of 16 gold, I'm going to purchase one. And... No, hang on. And sell my iron, iron katana. Oh, and the iron longsword. So we got some money back. Um, we sell the crossbow. Let's see if we can upgrade the bow. I can't actually remember what I said I was going to play this as. So oh, I could do it with an oak long bow, but it's f what really one more coin. You see that I have 473, and I can buy it for 474. All right, it's not it's not the end of the world, so I will happily pay that out. So, basically, there's not much left to do here, to be honest. I mean, there's a quest down there, which we might do later. Um, a couple of houses you can go steal from. A barber shop to change your haircut. Um, through this archway is the um, dock, which we'll probably we might do some stuff down there later. There's a school building. Um, this school building is good for if you give the teacher any books you find. Um, he will read the stories to the kids, and some of them are pretty funny. Um, and this is the first introduction of buying houses in, obviously, the first fable, which is what I'm playing. Um, we will get into that later, it's not that important right now. So my main goal now is to just get through some quests, get the storyline underway, and start getting the silver keys as well. I'm going to try throughout this playthrough to get all of the legendary weapons. I can't guarantee it. Um, and for game in-game reasons, it is not actually possible to get all the legendary weapons. But um, you can get like all of them bar one, depending on what you pick at the end of the game. So right here is a color skate, which we've used before. Well. I hope you've seen before. They are just teleporting gates. They'll only connect to places where you've either teleported from or another place that has a colour gate. That's simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. So we've just gone to see Maze in Bowerstone and got some information. Ah, now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Now, if you've ever played the original Fable, that sequence does not happen. Um, you meet her in... you do meet her in the original one, but that sequence does not happen. Um, as you can tell, she's quite a bit of a bitch, but um, towards the end of the game, you, you end up working with her a bit more. So we're going to go to the quest... Right, now I need to decide whether I'm going to go evil or good. I'm not completely sure. As you can see here, if I were to protect it, which is the good side, um, I get 400 renown and 750 reward, but I also get all the. Um, you also get a lot more in terms of um, good alignment points. Whereas if I were to attack it, I'd get the same amount of renown, but 250 more gold coins. But you get. Um, I will get less in terms of. Well, no, because they both they both work in terms of how many you kill. So I guess you both get the same, but if you attack, you get more money. So it's kind of like being evil and, you know, hoarding all the money. Now, I think I'm going to be good, because I barely ever play as a good guy. 
So we'll protect Orchard Farm 